And that one is off and running, I think. Okay. So, pitch black of midday. Was it Bob Dylan saying darkness at the break of noon? Uh, this is the height of English summer, huh? What have we done to this planet? Well, Jim Morrison told us what we've done. I'm just talking my voice in. You don't mind, do you? <coughs> you do? Wow, well, boy. You wanna know how much I care? <laughs> So I'm going to try a version of Moon River and Me, a song I wrote in, uh, I'm going to write this a million years ago for sure. 1993, I thought it was earlier than that, actually. Uh, but, um, <coughs> uh, I was going to say, yeah, oh, forget it. <laughs> Get a guitar on and we'll go from there. I'm going to tell you a bit about the song, I'm sure you don't want to know. Oh, that hurts so much throwing a guitar over my shoulder these days. Now, camera two, for some reason you've not been picking up lately. I've been watching that. I've only got two chords in it. And that's not either of them. <laughs> that's not too far off. Ah, but that is. That's where I need to pitch it for the voice. When I did this, that's what I was going to say earlier on, when I did this back a million years ago when I was still alive, this was just a two chord, there was a performance piece. This is one of the ones where no one really wanted to follow me on stage. <laughs> and not for Donald Trump reasons. Um, I think that string is beyond redemption. I didn't get started, huh? Sticky tape. I remember the days when sticky tape was sticky, you know. Okay. Now, now why do you do that? Well, you can't because I just covered up the... Um... Oh, mama. Ah. The legs of page three. Stop it. Freaking microphone stand. You can't imagine how much it pisses me off. Should I do it as a romantic ballad? I don't know how I'm going to do this, I just want to do a slower version of it. One, two, three, four, twenty-eight, nine. Stuck behind my favorite mask Living such a painful task But so they say Nah, I ain't gonna work Stuck 
behind my favorite mask Living such a painful task Or so they say Watching Hitler's sick offense Running around like headless ants See how they play I've drowned Fuck it I'm stuck behind my favorite mask Living's such a painful task Or so they say Now I'm watching Hitler's sycophants Running around like headless And see how they play I've drowned five times upon dry land I wonder if you understand I think you don't And dancing on the landing strip I edge towards a fatal slip But no, I won't Naked to the baying wind A mystery to the man within I call the shots And listening to the thrillers page The daughters from a dying age Untie the knot I've asked my mother time again If she ever knew me When she shakes her head The top hats and the painted dwarves Batter with the turbo hose Then break their bread Chanting mantras while they wait Their eyes start to hallucinate But nothing's real I call up friends I used to know Tell them I survived the show But lowest the deal Floating round Aladdin's cave The genie says he's so dismayed That no one comes Doubting stage existed in another age. I don't belong. Indulging my melancholy, my shadow stands in front of me. Is this my song? Like roses on a coffin lid, my heart disguises what is hid within the depths. In the tombstone aisles I bled for you and still you smiled And so I wept I counted countless refugees Knowing one of them was me Where am I to? As I look back upon myself I see that I was someone else So who were you? Try to call for help in mind But make the movements too sublime So no one comes I hear the old man as he laughs And sends another autograph And bangs the drums I hate pretend society Just as much as they hate me It's so opaque Say you never were our friend, they're all so fake. I've sat and tried to.
to make some sense of you down in the audience. Why do you come? You think that I can hold your youth, but every word I say is true. Please point your gun. Your little box gives you a life, and if you play the moment right, you'll be a star. So intransigent One day they'll wonder Where you went and who you are I'm staring at my favourite road Wondering just how much is owed And when I'll pay All the things that you elude Are owes in my solitude Please go away Large. The wasteland armies start to march They don't know where Their leaders need to feel secure So they lead them off to war And no one cares I watch it from my mountain top Wonder will it ever stop I know it won't Thing the victory brings are false parades and widow's rings, but then you know value has no worth at all. It's just a door so green can call. I'm not impressed. Like Pharaoh building monuments with whips and chains as inducements. Part of your social scene I find your shallowness obscene So count me out All I hear is who you know And what you own and where you go To hell no doubt I am not none nor ever was Messiah of a holy cause I'm just a man Judgment day, I know my fate And if my heart is free from hate Well, here I am No one wants to call upon The singer when the song is gone I wonder why He's still the same man that he was Before the world turned into frost And worship died Public like their heroes poor To be just like the boy next door They're hard to please When you live upon the edge You must remember how to beg For times like these The leaders only ever come The instant that the battle is won Their hands are clean It's all pretend, it's really not I just don't have the strength these days To let myself come out to play It's not some plot I'm lost within my reverie Your inspiration runs through me I can't quit now The staunch support of the who sneer is what you seem to hold most dear I can't be held The sacrificial altar waits for me If I should hesitate, acceptance too 
I think that life is just a dream I'm comatose on some machine like pay of you Crawling on his hands and knees The anarchist cries money please We all must live Once the surgeon cuts the knot You must survive on what you've got Not what you give Of this endless toil When do I return to the soil? The sun is high I'm closing down one final time And in the end my final line is just goodbye It's just not a song that you can get a slow version down of, I guess, you know. That's kind of how I used to play it, I guess. I guess you can imagine, you know, in the days of snow cake and a watermelon and <laughs> Carly Minogue doing the load of commotion. Everything like that, whatever else was around in 93. Well, Nirvana will go in then, um, which is lot of what that song is about actually. Um, uh, Kurt Cobain had had an incident. No internet in those days, you had to wait for the weekly papers to uh, come out to find what was going on. And, uh, and I wrote that song the day that Audrey Hepburn died because I was writing it an old pad on the sofa that I uh, it started with Cobain and then I worked backwards through, you know, um, the false ephemera um, of being on stage and everything. So, see Kurt, Jimmy, Janice, Brian Jones, etc., etc. You know, those are the famous ones, but also people that I'd lost, you know, band members and stuff. And uh, it became wild. finished the lyric and I had no title to it at all. And then on the news, in those days, you know, if it was a major news story, they would interrupt the, but, uh, not interrupt the programs, but between the programs they would come on and they would say, you know, Gregory Peck has just gone or whatever, you know. And these days, of course, you know, it's all around the world if some internet star or someone breaks a fingernail and stuff like, you know. And it, and it came out on that sad now. It's sad to announce the death of Audrey Hepburn. We will be showing um, a film tribute to her after the news um, tonight. And then they played a little clip of her singing Memory of Me for breakfast at Tiffany. And that's why it's called Memory of Me. And that's what the song's about. Can you imagine being in the front row when I played that one on stage? I'm doing it now at 62 years old, so how old was I in 93? 32 or something like that. Actually, I didn't play it until 94. Uh, I went back out on stage in 1994. And uh, <laughs> I was in there, you know, because uh, no one knew who I was at that point. I totter on stage on a multi artist bill, you know, just to get my throat back in the water again. <laughs> Like a little squirrel in the back garden on its hind legs, doing this, looking around for the food. The other thing I've noticed it does is it jumps like this to see if it can spot where the food is lying to in the grass. So I would handle on stage, you know, with an acoustic guitar in between sets. They always used to stick the acoustic people on either at the start to get the sound checks or in between uh, numbers, you know, because easier for the bands to change over behind. No one cared how much noise they made behind an acoustic musician like, you know. So you'd be <laughs> trying to sing, you know, a love song, a gentle ballad or something, and all you could hear is a, Harry, Harry, where's the cable to? Where's this plug in? Anyone got any masking tape? Ah, oh, you bastard, that was my tub. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, and so the crowd would think, ah, oh, he's got an acoustic guitar. 
He's going to sing a nice gentle ballad, you know. Maybe we'll get Roman in the gloom and I'll puff the magic dragon or, you know, hey nonny moo with a yaki yaki you. And uh, <laughs> I would just launch into this. <laughs> Umbrellas going up as all the spittle flew out and everything like that. Because you know? if you're singing a song about hating the audience, you know, <laughs> having an audience there gives uh, some extra fuel for the fire, one might say. I really wish I could find a way to arrange this slower. Though. To highlight the word. It's because of the structure of it, you see. It's not a got a basic structure. That's where it goes, you see, because you would need to... How I could do it would be to change the E minor. And then... Second time. So we've got two doves, two squirrels now. Oh, and a chaffinch. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the other camera's packed up. So I think it's just going to be that way for all its life. Someone else can come along, I guess, and take a look. There's our, our exit wounds. Gail Russell, the wonderful Gail Russell. Please look her up on the internet. I wrote a song for her called The Night Has a Thousand Lies.